everybody, I'm the Lazy Kiwi and welcome to another episode of my Human Enough Challenge. So this is potentially the last episode of this series, which is exciting but also very sad because I really enjoyed this episode, I had a lot of fun with it and I don't really want it to end, but everything has to end eventually and unfortunately I think it's time for this season to come to an end. So today is also crypto as well as Essie's birthday. I think Essie's off to school, but I think he's off to school. Yeah, it's 10 a.m. Of course he is. Anyway, so I'm gonna make them a cake. I think Krypta I'm going to age up as soon as possible, and then we're just gonna put candles back on for when Essie is back. But I also want Krypta to go to the restaurant maybe one or two more times before they leave to go to space. If you didn't know, that's how I want to end the series. I have no idea what's going to happen to Sandy once we leave for space. But um, I don't think I can take a cow plant into space with me. And I also don't know how Sandy is alive anymore because she absolutely, most definitely died a few episodes ago. And I somehow resurrected her by moving her. So we don't ask questions. We just go with it, I guess. Okay, we have our cake. Let us add some candles. I am going to send Krypta to quickly take care of the garden and then we're probably gonna go ahead and age her up into an adult. Oh, oh wait, she is in her alien form. I'm not prepared to kill another sim. We killed like three sims in the last two episodes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put her disguise on. I also don't know what's going to happen to all of my graves when we leave, but I guess they're, they're gonna stay here forever. I think I'm actually going to have him leave school early because it is his birthday after all. I would really like for him to be here on his birthday and age up with his mother. And I would like for her to go to the restaurant today. So probably not that long because it is already 12. But you know how on school days it's your birthday and your parents come and get you early because they want to take you out or get you a cake. I don't know if that happened to any of you at some point, but it has happened to me before. So I'm guessing it's common sometimes. But let's go ahead and just have Krypta celebrate and make a wish so that she can go ahead and age up first. Happy birthday, Krypta! Happy birthday! Oh, the dog is sad! I tried to give him a bath, but he just did not want to. Okay, before anybody steals some cake, go ahead and just add some birthday candles for me, sweetie. And then we can have <laughs> little Essie go ahead and make a wish himself. Oh, let's just go give the dog a bath. I tried to do this, he did not want to. Wait, no, I, I literally can't. Oh well, I mean, let's just look at the little birthday. Not him with an omelette as well. Okay, so he put it down, thank goodness. But a little Essie is aging up into a teenager. Why is there a dead person in my house? I mean, why not? She's celebrating with us. Okay, I am going to randomize. Okay, a geek and hot-headed. Why do we get these traits for our kids? Because little pop... That's not Poppy. Poppy's from the other series. <laughs> Jupiter. Her name is Jupiter. I blanked for a second. But Jupiter is an evil sim, so... You know, I don't know why my sims are getting these traits. But let's maybe go ahead and go for knowledge. Nerd brain, I guess, because he's the geek. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this, but... There we go. <gasps> Look at Essie! How lovely. Um, Can I give the dog a bath now? Or should we give him a vet treat? Okay, we should probably give him a vet treat. That makes a lot of sense. I will not be to cast for Essie quickly, but I'm just wanting to give the dog a vet treat first quickly. I do think he's dirty as well, but it didn't give me the option to give him a bath. Okay, let us quickly nip into cast so that we can check Essie out. Okay, so this is Essie in his alien form. I will give him a little bit of an updated makeover, but this is also Essie in his disguise. I really like this hair on him, so I think I'm gonna keep that. He also has very long eyelashes, which I kind of like, so I, I think I'm gonna keep those. I never give my male sims really long eyelashes, but I mean, why not? 
Okay, so this is Essie in his human form. I don't know why I went for fire pants, but I I guess it's a thing now. Essie is a fire pants man. But this is also Essie in his alien form. So he's still got the same vibe, so I I think he has the same vibe. Not sure. Anyway. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about him. I think he looks very cute. So let's go ahead and jump back into the game. Uh, hello? What the heck? When did this happen? When did you fall in love with a dead girl? Okay, anyway, um, once Crypto is done with this, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and send her off to the restaurant so that we can go and probably be there for the last night. So let's head off. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open up the restaurant. I don't think that my chefs are really good at their job still, but I mean, everybody has to start somewhere. Let's just see if we can actually go up here because I've had problems with that. Yeah, okay, we're fine. We can do it. I mean, I like how this place turned out in the end. It is very space vibes. So, I don't know. I, I'm happy with it. Okay, we have our first customers, so let's go ahead and greet them, welcome them to our restaurant. So far, everything is going smoothly because last time I forgot that I was in my alien form and, you know, that never goes well. That never goes well. I mean, luckily I have an alien themed restaurant though, so it wasn't that big a deal. I wasn't about to kill everybody because of that, so I can also recommend a dish to this guy. I'm absolutely gonna do that. I get a lot of money this way. <gasps> we have the review man! The review man is a okay, okay, hello sir. He's already writing stuff? He she just chatted with the guy. Okay, this is terrifying. I hate it when this guy comes because now my chefs aren't as good as they can be. Okay. Um, I'm not even kidding. This looks so bad, but I guess this is the only way this is going to be functional. And I know that's very bad because it's, it's only two seats, but a lot of these didn't really work and I would really like for them to work. Is this guy done? Oh, he's just leaving. I mean... He had four stars before he left, so... <laughs> Excuse me, you little demon child. What do you think you're doing? What do you think this is? This is not that type of establishment, kid. Can I yell at a child? Look at how pretty this place is in the nighttime. Especially the bathroom lights. I really like how this looks, actually. It's so fun. But yeah, I really like the alien plants and the stuff in the water. It's very pretty. Krypta is getting really, really tired. But I do have the fast eaters quirk. So people eat really fast when they're here. So they do come and go quite quickly. But at the same time... She's very, very tired. She's gonna pass out, like, any moment. In three hours. So she's gonna pass out in three hours. Hopefully we're done by then. I'm hoping. Yeah, okay. I think we are done. So I'm going to go ahead and close up the restaurant. We made a profit. We made a pretty nice profit as well. So that's exciting. Oh, I completely forgot to train these people. Oh, well. Maybe next time. I don't think there's gonna be a next time. So... <laughs> Are the dead people having a party? Because I wanna go to the party. I just saw like a bunch of people start running to this area. And now they're all standing in my graveyard. I mean, that's fun. That, that's, that's a lot of fun. Um, they all look like they're having a blast. Like, they, they're also back to feeding my cow plant. Like, look at that. Sandy is well fed because of these ghosties, and they are having an affair, of course. I mean, why why would they not? Oh, and there's a baby on the way as well. <laughs> of course there's a baby coming to the graveyard party. Oh, that guy's watering my plants! Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna... Well, oh, he's feeding them. Same difference! I, I'm not complaining. Oh, it's winter... Oh my gosh, I'm... <laughs> I feel pretty stupid now because um, it was supposed to be Krypta and Essie's birthday today, but I I made it yesterday. You know what? That's fine. 
it's over there, older, no big deal. Anyway, I'm going to have Essie go ahead and try to fix these things because I, I don't want to waste my money. Okay, I did get a few things so that we can put up some decorations for Winterfest as well as a tree that we can decorate with the family because if today is our last day on Earth, it's a good thing it's Winterfest then. Oh, she's sitting on the floor, that's so cute. But I am going to go ahead and have her just remove her disguise. I'm also going to have Essie remove his disguise so that they can all be in their true forms for Winterfest. I really forget that it's winter in Oasis Springs because it definitely doesn't look like winter. Besides for a few dead trees, you can't really tell. Okay, this is our beautiful, beautiful Christmas tree. Oh, sorry, I mean Winterfest tree. And I think it's very pretty. Oh my gosh, sweetie, what are you doing outside? Oh, okay, nobody, nobody look this way. Please, nobody look this way. Um... What are you doing with the dog, sweetie? Okay, I mean, it's because Essie's in the bathroom, but I really want to give the dog a bath. That man should not... Oh, it's Bob! Bob should not look this way. If he looks at her... Oh, that lady too. If any of them looks this way, they're going to die. I really don't want to kill people today. Okay, I think the last thing for us to do would definitely be to explore space. I mean, tra well, travel through a wormhole. So let's go ahead and travel through a wormhole. Um, I'm trying to get to see some. Obviously, I cannot put my entire family on that rocket ship, so I'm just gonna teleport them if I make it to see some. So let's go ahead into our yeah. spaceship. Goodbye, world. And we're going to go home now. Let's go. Wow. Oh. Of course. <laughs> through the wormhole, the ship hurdles through the wormhole and emerges near an alien planet. A series of odd noises comes from the on-ship radio, and Crypto is suddenly teleported off her ship. Beam down! Oh, this is exciting! We're on Sixum! This is Sixum, everybody. This is our home planet. This is where we were born and where we came from. This is a very, a very nice building. Wow. What does this do? Oh, return home. Can I bring everybody here? No. So I'm gonna just try to cheat everybody here. And yes, that does include the dog. They are all standing inside of each other at this moment. But if they just move out of the way a little bit. There we go. Everybody's here. Sweetie, don't call anybody to space. That's... That's not a great idea. Please, no. But we are on Sixum. I'm going to just have Crypto explore a bit. Um, this resource has already been collected. We can collect that one. I mean, this is such a pretty world as well. Like, oh, it's beautiful. How does it look from above? Oh, very open space. That's terrifying. How are we breathing? Well, I mean, not Crypto and her son Essie and I mean I don't know how Casey's breathing here I can see how Jupiter can but I don't think she would properly be able to because she's half human as well I don't know I don't know what the heck is Agatha Crumplebottom doing here is she a regular space visitor <laughs> Okay, sure. Why not? But yeah, guys, I do think that that is going to be the end of this series where everybody is in space. Um, the dog is having a blast, of course. Or he's dead. He, he could not breathe on this planet and he's gone forever, twitching, dying. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I am definitely going to miss this series a lot, but this was definitely the last thing that I wanted to do. So I think I'm going to go onto the website so that we can basically check on everything that we were able to achieve during this series and basically just check on all of that. So let's quickly head into the website. 
Okay, so on the website, let us go to abilities and restrictions. So we did travel outside of our hometown. We did get more clothing. We did build a structure. We did get more rooms. We did socialize. We basically did almost everything over here except for getting the painting skill to level four. But that one was optional. So I'm just going to take it just so that we can say that we didn't need to do that one but everything on this page is done so i would say we did really really well for this part of the challenge i think this was kind of like the main part of the challenge so we did really good then we have the other part what what is this part oh these were like challenges at some point i'm sure i had five friends i'm not sure if i have five friends now i probably do if you can't like my family and the dead people in my yard. Anyway, <laughs> we did all of these and we did all of that. Um, yeah, we didn't grow old with our significant other. We did grow to adults with our significant others. So kind of half check on this one. I have no idea what my house was worth. So with this one, um, let's just click that one. If it's not that, then... It's, it's too bad now. I, I've already clicked it. <laughs> and for these, I'm also not sure about that one, but I don't think so. And uh, this one, yeah, this, this is not really... <laughs> we didn't do this, but I mean, we did do pretty well overall. So I'm pretty happy with how we did on this challenge. And then lastly... We have this little thing and let me just say yes to visit any secret location because Sixem is one of them. And yes for building a rocket ship and going to space. So the only things over here that we didn't do was reach level 10 of the charisma skill and master any instrument skill. But overall I really do think we did really well with this challenge. Let me know what you guys think how I did. And let me know if you guys did this challenge yourselves. How you did or how you are currently currently doing with your challenge and if you could beat me with how much I did. But yeah guys, that is it for this series, so thank you all so so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this series, please do let me know in the comments down below and if you guys have any suggestions on what you want to see in the future, more challenges, video types, anything you guys are interested in, let me know down below as well. So thank you all so so much for watching and I will definitely see you all in another video. Goodbye everybody!